to the listeners that are listening wherever you are and to those that are watching on YouTube, I just want you to stop. I want you to breathe through your nose very gently and breathe out because this is one of the greatest pieces of writing that I've encountered in 2021. And I think this book, You're Invited by John Levy, is going to be one of my best books ever. And I, I have the fortunate privilege of reading at least 50 books a year. But I want you to listen to this wherever you are because... I think these words have touched me and I've dissected this book in and out and, and spent a lot of time listening to John. But regardless of what you want to accomplish from growing your business or creating a great company culture to championing a social cause or changing your habits, you can't do it alone. The people around you define your success and they have the potential to change the course of your life. That's what You're Invited is about. The most universal strategy for success is creating meaningful connections with those who can impact you, your life, and the things you care about. But how do you make those connections and build trust quickly? What if you're introverted or hate networking? Behavioral scientist John Levy had no money, reputation, or status, but was able to convince Nobel laureates, Olympians, celebrities, Fortune 500 executives, and even an occasional princess, not only to give him advice, but to cook him dinner, wash his dishes, sweep his floors, and then thank him for the experience. The goal of his gatherings, much like this book, was not networking. It was to build meaningful and lasting relationships the private community formed from those dinner experiences became known as the influencers, named for the members' success and industry influence. Since its inception more than a decade ago, the influencers has grown into the largest private group of its kind worldwide, a thriving community that connects both in person and through digital experiences. And you're invited, Levy guides us through the art and science of creating deep and meaningful connections with anyone, regardless of stature or celebrity, and demonstrates how to develop influence gain trust and build community so that we can impact society and achieve what's important to us. Probably one of the most profound things I've read in a very long time, because we've got this meme out there, John, that says social distancing. And uh, I've done my best to break that terminology because I, I really believe words form who we are. And mm. uh, we're trying to call it physical distancing. It makes us thrive. And we need more social closeness. We need more social togetherness ever before in this pandemic time. And, and to have a book like this talking about meaningful relationships and trust is remarkable. And I want you to just start your backstory at that seminar where you probably heard a, a very important statement that possibly changed the course of your life. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's interesting. I was probably about 28. And I was heavily in debt from university. I was overweight. I, you know, I was like kind of the stereotypical person not living up to their potential. And uh, whatever that means, I'm not like <laughs> really <laughs> sure. And uh, I, I'm sitting in this seminar because I'm, it seems much like you learning obsessed, right? I figure if I could gain one thing that could have an impact, then the time dedication is worth it. And I, I'm sitting there and the leader says something that was really striking. He said, the fundamental element that defines the quality of our lives are the people we surround ourselves with and the conversations that we have with them. And I said, okay, if that's true, then maybe the strategy I've been using to improve my life has been a little off, right? I would try to set an alarm for 6 a.m. and then, you know, to go work out. And then I'd hit the snooze a million yeah. times. <laughs> or I would uh, not understand why, like, I couldn't get into the habit of saving more, and you know, that my habits weren't where they, I wanted them to be. And then I ended up uh, thinking, okay, if it's about who we're connected to and how much they trust us, then maybe... I just need to surround myself with the people that really inspire me. If I want to be fit, maybe I need to hang out with more athletes. If I want to get my finances in order, maybe it's about hanging out with my, the people I know that are financially successful mm -hmm. so that their habits become my routine. Absolutely. And I, being a science geek, I looked into the research mm -hmm. and I came across this crazy study. It looked at as answering the question, 
is the obesity epidemic, the kind of epidemic that spreads from person to person, like an infection, or is it a percentage of the population, like Alzheimer's? You know, to the best of our knowledge, you shake hands with somebody who has Alzheimer's, you're not mm -hmm. going to get Alzheimer's. Yeah. And what they found was absolutely startling, that if you have a friend who's obese, your chances increase 45%. Wow. Your friends who do not know them have a 20% increased chance, and their friends have a 5% increased chance, which means that we each have an effect three degrees out. People like literally, we have no clue exist. Mm. And this kind of effect is true for happiness, marriage and divorce rates, smoking habits, voting habits, literally anything you can think of. And so I said, okay, if things spread from person to person so much, then it's not just about connecting and knowing somebody. Just knowing you is great, I have that impact, but you're amazing. And if I have another person that I've met that's really exceptional, by introducing you to each other, then I develop a community of extraordinary people positively impacting one another. And that increases how close you are to my life, right? If you're close with five of my best friends, that's going to draw you in closer and have an even greater impact on my life and vice versa. And so my objective became not just to meet extraordinary people, but to build a community where they feel a sense of belonging so that they stick around and positively impact one another.